Zach, Matt, and Zach, first things first. How's everything going in, in uh, beautiful Delta, Ohio? You hanging in there, buddy? Yep, hanging in there. Hanging in there. Just waiting until that noon announcement. Yeah, so OHSA is having a uh, – they're having a press conference today, and the press conference will be about what the, what the fate of the, the winter sports tournaments are. Obviously, we know that that doesn't look very good right now. But um, nope. uh, first things first, where were you when you when you heard the, the news? Um, I was actually at school and um, when they first announced it. And my dad actually drove to school and told me. That way I didn't find out from other kids. So, so you didn't have to find out from, from Twitter. You found out directly from your dad. Yes. Yep. yep. I'd rather I have was, that. Wouldn't you rather have that? I was very happy that he did that. Yeah. That's tough. And then, then right away, did your dad say, obviously your dad knows more than all of us know. Um, right away, I obviously was really upset. And then I kind of just asked him whether it was reasonable that they were doing this or justifiable. And he said yes, which kind of, which I wasn't expecting him to say that. So, but. That kind of like confirmed it to you at that point, didn't it? That you knew that this probably wasn't going to happen. Um, even, even if this died down in the next week and a half or so, I figured that it wouldn't happen because 600 and something kids in I, the shot and scene center can't be rented out just whoever and whenever they want. They're obviously on a schedule. So logistically, I thought it'd be a nightmare to reschedule, but then, um, with this virus still raging, I, it's not happening. Do you think most high school kids understand the word logistics like you just used and understand that the arena just isn't at their beck and call? Do you think a lot of kids understand that? Be honest. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think a lot of kids understand that. I'm going I'm to be honest with you. Um, do you think your dad explained that to you or did you just figure that out because you're kind of worldly, you guys do a lot of traveling, your dad's a doctor, you're an intelligent individual. Where do you come to that conclusion from? Well, I talked to him about, like, uh, the virus spreading and how dangerous that was in, in that aspect, that they weren't going to reschedule. But then I just know how many – there's three divisions, so I just kind of did the math and figured it out and and looked at it like that. What is our so, total? What's our total amount of wrestlers? It's 14 times 16 times 3, right? Um, is it 660 maybe? I don't – it's – it's in the 600s, I believe. Is it 600s? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of athletes. That's double the NCAAs, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. NCAA says 30. 330, right? Um, when yeah. you look at the whole situation, though, like um, how much is your dad talking to you about it? How much are you guys talking about it as a family as far as this is for real and this is not something where, oh, you're young, you got a strong immune system, you're healthy? It, it, I'm guessing he's not letting you guys take that route at all. No, um, actually, I don't know if he's worried about us getting it, uh, per se, or per se, but like my grandma and grandpa's, uh, I'm, uh, my grandma's with us, they're staying with us right now, and so if, if we would have it, that means she would probably get it, and that just, it would be silly to, it would be silly to act like we're not gonna pass it on to anyone, even if we did have it, and it didn't hurt us, so. Yeah, it's, it's like reckless thing. I asked him that. I said, you know, is a, is a good way to think about it like you actually have it and you're trying not to give it to other people? And he actually said that's probably not a bad way to look at it. Um, You know, uh, Tervel Delagnev said to me, if the 330 athletes at NCAAs, if they asked him if they would wrestle it, he said 300 of them would probably wrestle it. If they gave you the choice to go wrestle this tournament, would you wrestle it right now? Absolutely. Um, If they – if I actually would just wrestle it in my bar. I – I was, I know a couple of my buddies were trying to, uh, they said if it cancels, they're going to text the top kids in their weight class and just try to wrestle them outside of it. So I'm sure they would wrestle in, I'm sure they would be willing to wrestle in the shot and scene if they said you could have it, even if it meant getting quarantined from everyone for 14 days. Okay. You are a massive 113 pounder. Um, when I see you, I've, I actually, you're my example when I talk to people, I want you to know that. I'm like, look at Matt, and he's massive at 113 pounds. And then when I look at you, 
You can see every muscle fiber and muscle striation. I mean, dude, you're shredded. You're you're pulling some weight. You know what I mean? And you're obviously super fit as well. But you know, like you gotta do some workouts. You gotta like gotta do something. You guys have a mat room, don't you? Uh, we do. Out in the, uh, we have a barn out uh, on our property, and then uh, so I can practice with Drew and Cole. But right now, there's no contact with the coaches or teams. That's crazy. So to keep your weight down, being massive, it's got to be diet. It's got to be running, and you're doing other things. But today, when they make the announcements, what's the first meal you're gonna have? Um, I don't know. My grandma brought some cookies over, so probably gonna have some more of those. You're gonna jump in on those cookies, huh? Yes. Okay. I know that the Mattens like become like when it becomes to competition between the brothers, you become cavemen. You don't become free Madden students anymore. Who's at the top of the pile? Give it to me. Let's go. Fight! Fight! Uh, oh, he's raising his hand back there. Who's uh, who is that? Cole? That's Drew. That's Drew? No, that's Cole behind you, isn't it? Or is that Drew? Who is it? That's, that's Drew. Drew, are you at the top of the pile? Of course. Can you get the no, old man? Can you get the old man yet? Can you, who? Can anybody oh. get the old man? That's been a few years past. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Do you guys still fight a lot, or do you get along? Um, we don't fight a ton. I'd say. Um, we wrestle a lot, like in the living room and stuff. We just like mess around with each other like that. But then Cole and I had a wrestling match the other night, actually, in the living room. So. Who won? Oh, I did, of course. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh, dude. You, I know you're catching a lot of beatdowns. All right. Um, for the foreseen future, do you think Del – is Delta going to have school or are you guys going to go back to school or, or what are you guys hearing about that? Um, the, With uh, Governor DeWine, he's not – he's mentioned it a couple times that he thinks it's possible we don't go back to school at all. All right. Do you, I know you guys are uh, really good students. Does that does that excite you? Does it bum you out? What's your feeling when you hear stuff like that? Um, I'm not sure actually because I think I'll know more on Tuesday when we start our online schooling. So if that, I assume the teachers are going to be reasonable. But uh, we had a like in 2015 we had those blizz or we had a blizzard or whatever when the weather was super bad. We had to do some online schooling and I remember it was very terrible. So if it's anything like that, I wish I'd rather just be in school. Blizzard bags? Is that what they call them? Blizzard bag, yep. But well, was that just like they gave you a bunch of assignments and you did them? This is all on the – do you have Chromebooks? What do you guys have at Delta? Um, so half of our freshmen and sophomores all have uh, MacBooks. And you, they have MacBooks? Yes. And so they have them all the way down in junior high. So our grade still has iPads, though, like these old iPads. And we were the last grade before they switched over to MacBooks. Do you have the keyboard that comes with it, or do you have to type all of it on there? No, I have to type it on there. Look, I, I actually brought my own computer up here, and I can log in on that stuff. So I shouldn't have to use my iPad too much. Though. Okay. All right. Well, okay. So – um. What's next for you? What's the next thing you guys get to do? Like, or you just, or you just stay locked down and just hunker down. Um, wrestling wise, or just yeah. What's the next yeah. actual? Is NHSCA is the actual next wrestling event? I think you guys can actually go to. They they moved it back. I they moved it back to the end of May, I believe. Yeah, so that's the actual yeah. next schedule. Would you go to that? I guess is my question. Um. I'm not sure yet, honestly, with because I know USA Wrestling Ohio just uh, canceled everything through April, and then they said their state tournaments just can be open. So I don't know what that means. What's that mean? What's that mean? Is it just like the well, cadets and juniors are together? No. So usually for uh, the freestyle state tournament, you have to go to a qualifier. There's about oh, five. Oh, everybody just shows up to the state. <laughs> got it. Got it. Now they're just saying there's no qualifiers. You can just show up. Is Fargo on the slate for you? If Fargo happens. Yeah, I was gonna say, if Fargo happens, I would like to wrestle there, but I don't know. 113, 120, 126, what's the weight? Probably 120. 120? Dude, if 120. you make 113 this summer, I I don't know how you're doing that. I don't know how you're doing that. Okay. Highlight of the season. Let's just talk that real quick. 
you had two huge wins in the final of the two big tournaments, right? Two of the bigger tournaments in Ohio, Maumee Bay, and then um, you won a barn burner in the Medina finals. What was what was your favorite match? Uh, maybe a match I didn't see, but like, what was your what was the highlight of the season this year for you, Zach? Um, highlight of the season, probably. I want to say my first match, just because uh, the kid I wrestled beat me earlier in the year or what, earlier what or was the your year first before. Match? What was that? Uh, Gessler. Okay. No, he beat no me Gessler. A, yes. He was your first match of the year. First match. Where was we that? Had a, we went to Marysville uh, duels, and we matched that. up with Graham first round. Are you serious? Yes. And you beat Nolan Gessler. Yes. So you beat Gessler. Crosby and Moon this year. Yes. You beat the number one guy in all the other divisions. Um, I think so. Yeah, no, you did. I'm telling you, you did. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to have to look at those rankings. So I didn't even know you beat Gessler. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I was. I had been looking forward to that match all all of last year, obviously, and then over the summer, so. I was excited. Did you have a concussion after Crosby bombed you on your head? No, I didn't, luckily. He, he threw me pretty hard. Dude, did you see my video angle of it? You got bombed. I did. It was a good video. <laughs> you getting bounced off your head is not a good video, but I had a good angle, I guess. I don't know what to say. All right. You got anything else for me? I do not have anything. Drew wants me to tell you I didn't get taken down off of it, though. So no, We did it. No, you rested through the position, and you won on a ride out. Which yes. apparently I yes. forgot in the interview within an hour of it, I guess. Which which is bad on me. So, all right. Stick okay. around a little bit. I'm going to cut this live video. I'm going to cut this. Stick around for a little bit, all right? Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, buddy. All right? Thank you.